Garrett Adams. I'm, a, I guess, singer-songwriter. <laughs> I suppose that's what it'd be classified as. <laughs> I think singer-songwriter is pretty like a general encompassing term. I mean, I guess the main idea is like I write all the music and the band just kind of sort of plays what I tell them to play somewhat. So I think that's where the sort of singer-songwriter thing comes in. Okay, so the style is kind of, I like to call it heavy folk because it kind of starts off acoustic and usually builds the stuff. I guess not a lot of the songs are like that anymore. It's kind of, they all start as like acoustics written by myself. I don't know, I guess it's like indie rock, very generic sweeping term. <laughs> but I mean, I am, at least for this sort of music in this project, influenced by bands like Band of Horses, Father John Misty, uh, stuff like that that is sort of more, I guess, structurally and songwriting wise based in like a folk kind of style with like more lush arrangements. So it's not really like, you know, metal or rock or something or riff music or anything like that. It's sort of more based around chord progressions and layering sounds and harmonies. Tides is kind of like, like a love song. It's sort of like a song about unrequited love, I guess, or something to that effect. I don't know, it's kind of one of those songs where sort of just sort of the words kind of came out and I just kind of left it how it was and very loose inspirations, nothing really specific. Very inspired by Radiohead. There's a lot of sort of Radiohead stuff going on and on the album it has like a drum machine, but we found that that was a bit too hard to do live, trying to keep a drum machine going in time with everyone else. From I definitely miss the Cal Benhammer stuff and working in a band because it's sort of like, like here I write all the songs, I kind of bring it to the band and say, you know, play this sort of thing. Whereas Cal Benhammer is kind of like, I write a song, take it to the band, and like by the time we actually play it on stage, it's way different than what I originally envisioned. Usually like, well, probably better than what I originally envisioned because everyone kind of brings their own ideas and becomes a sort of different beast. Uh, so I think there's an element to that that like, you know, it's, I like the whole solo project because I do have the control over all the music, but it also I feel like sometimes maybe the songs aren't as best as they could be because it's just like me writing them and not really collaborating with anyone on them. So there's definitely an upside to both of the angles. Young, I never realized certain things would go away. But now I'm older and putting it together. Things no one ever wanted to say. I keep the shadows out of my bedroom, leave the light on. Tell my monsters to go away and leave me Don't you ever come back Now I sit here wondering about Where did the wild things go? Thought I had a little sail but it's gone Wild Things is sort of based on the book Where the Wild Things Are and essentially the idea is sort of like taking that idea of like the character of Max who sails on a ship to go to the island of monsters and kind of extrapolating that. I guess I, guess, I mean you could look at it as if you wanted to put a character to it, it could be the character of Max looking back on his life kind of from that perspective of the wild things, but I mean it's more from my experiences obviously. Wish I could go back to I have forgotten 
things you only know in youth. Getting tired of acting like a grown up, known child at heart. Now I sit here wondering. Yeah, basically, like, everyone other than Billy, who is the uh, other guitar player, I've been playing with the rest of those guys for, I don't know, probably a decade now. Me and Brian have been playing together since high school as a bass player. And then Billy joined just recently. I was looking for a guitarist for Fringe Fest a couple years ago, and he was recommended by a friend. And he came into the first rehearsal and just like, knew all the songs like, perfectly. I was like, wow, okay, this is awesome, you're in. <laughs> But yeah, I guess like having that history of playing with these guys for years, it makes it a lot easier when we come to rehearsals to just sort of already know the songs and know how everyone else is going to play and it, it just works. And I guess the fact that we've all sort of played these songs in the recording, we have the record so like everyone can rehearse the record. It's not like sort of like, yeah, this is kind of how this song goes or here's a loose idea of how this song goes. It's very definitive, like this is how the song is, you know what your part is. So it's pretty easy to come to rehearsals um, with that in mind. Okay.